Hi, I'm Peter from Mechanics Mate, and this is an instructional video on how to set up your hydraulics when you receive it. Um, congratulations on your purchase. You've now bought the best um, pull-over remover insulation system in the world. All right, so we're gonna go quickly over the pump in here. So with the pump, we have two connections that we need to make. One is the air inlet, and one is the hydraulic outlet. All right, the air inlet on here, we've put a water separator. We don't supply that, but we highly recommend it to give you longevity in your in your pump. All right, on the, on the front of that, we've put in a, a male air connector. Everyone runs a different connection here. If you want to hard plumb it into your air system, that's fine. Otherwise, we recommend using a quick connector um, and any style will work. Uh, the higher the flow, the better. It will give you a little bit faster speed with your system. But we do recommend you put a, uh, a, a water separator in there. All right, so you can see how we've installed on here. On the other end, on the hydraulic side, you'll come with a normal, like a little red cap on the end here. All right, so what you do, you unscrew that out. The hose will come in. We've got a quick connect fitting on here, but the hose will come in just with a screw thread on there. All right, now you take your cap out, you screw your hose directly in, and that side's done. On the other side, the hose will not come with this fitting. We need to put that on, it'll come with that male fitting. All right, so what you do, you unscrew that off and then you put the female fitting on. Now, before you do any of that, what you want to do is you want to get some thread tape and you want to make sure that you put it onto your fittings first. So now, think about the direction that these go on. These are all a standard thread, they're an NPT and they screw in clockwise. So when you run your thread, the tape on there, you always run it around like that three or four times. All right, break it off. Now when we go to put the, screw this in, what it will do is it'll wind the tape on the same direction which we laid it on. All right, so it won't, it won't peel off. If you wind it on the other way, it'll try and peel the tape off. So with all your male threads, you put some thread tape on there first. Like I said, about three or four wraps, and you're ready to go. So now we've got our hose connected in, okay? And we've got our fitting on the end here. Now. You can see on here, we run a pressure gauge with a gauge adapter and we quick connect. That way we can connect and disconnect the hose. Again, for the hour, for what I'm finding we need to do, this, this works a treat for us. But for those in, in the situation, you're quite likely don't need to do that. Just run the thing, have it set up and ready to go all the time. But we're packing this away all the time. All right, in your kit, what you will receive, you will receive, if you're buying the professional, you'll receive three fittings. You'll receive the female fitting, which goes onto the end of your hose. Okay, it's a 3.8 NPT. All right, and you will receive two male fittings. All right, so one has got a 3.8 and the other one has got a quarter. All right, now if you have a look how these operate, quickly pull back, press, and it's ready to go. Pull back and then she releases. These do not leak oil when you connect and disconnect them. Now, the two different size fittings. The five ton cylinder, we've got one here with a one inch stroke, but they come in strokes up to nine inches. All right, so now if you take, you, we've loosened this off previously. These are, can be very, very tight. Uh, we recommend you put them in a vise if you need be and to loosen them off. All right, so you unscrew the fitting, hold the cylinder up like that. Now what you do, we'll quickly wax some thread tape on this fitting. That's enough, we don't need to load up too much. All right, always replace the dust caps if not in use. Come in there. Line it up. All right, now from there, we recommend using the correct size wrench. All right, and tighten it up. Firm, not excessive. I think these from the factory come in a little bit too tight, personally. Um, all right, so that one is done. Now the 12 ton cylinder, if you have a look in here, this actually has the quarter inch thread, all right, with a smaller coupler. So we've already put the thread tape on here, come in, screw that in. Now these are by no means tight enough, doing them by hand. All right, but just giving you the principle of it. 
All right, now if you have a look in here, as standard, they actually come with two different size couplings, so they don't fit. Um, this is not the reason why we, we change them out. The reason we change them out is so that we can change over very, very quickly from one cylinder to the other. All right, so now the hydraulics are that, that part of it done. Now, they come with a protection cap over the thread. You take that off, throw it away, come in with your coupling, screw it on. All right, it goes all the way home. Take it off again. You wanna make sure that the, it'll screw on. We do have some variations in cylinders and suppliers, so you need to check that first. Now what you do, come through and put some Loctite on there or thread locker, any sort of form. Put some of that on your thread. Then when you're done, come in and screw that on. The reason for the thread locker is so that this doesn't come loose during operation. You can um, tighten these up um, a little bit tighter as well. But in here I'll just show you this way. All right, same with the 12 ton cylinder, take the cap off there. Same thing with the coupler. Screw it on. Make sure it goes all the way. All right, and again, same thing. Back that back off. Put some, we have picked up some dirt in here. Make sure that your threads are nice and clean. All right, so again, put your thread sealer, thread lock on there, put it back on again. All right. Now, the other thing that we do, we do supply some stickers with you. So what we recommend you do is, so that you know where it's all come from, put your Mechanics Mate sticker on the cylinders, like so, and also on your pump on both sides. All right, so that way, along down the track, you know where you've got it from and we'll support the product. All right, so now we've got our coupling in, we've tightened these up properly, all right. Now, what the problem is, is we've got our hose on our pump, We've now got air in the system. So what you're going to need to do, you need to go to get air out of the cylinders and air out of the hose and everything. Make sure you've got oil in, in your pump. Uh, you'll also come in and you'll have a little bleed valve in here as well, a little breather. So what you've got to do is you've got to unscrew that and then put your breather in there and then she's ready to go. All right, once you're done, quickly connect up. We won't operate this here, but we'll show you the principle of it. So now you've got the cylinder connected. The fitting is pointing straight up into the sky. Now what you then do is you operate your pump and extend your piston fully. Don't, don't let it load up, just get it so that it comes out completely. And then, let, then release, pump it again, cycle two or three times. That way we get all the air out of the hose and we get the air out of the cylinder. It all goes into our tank. Once you've done one cylinder, quickly slip it over and repeat the process for the next cylinder. Pump it through, get all your, extend that cylinder fully. Again, try not to load it up too much because you can actually damage these if you take them a full extension and put full power on them. Um, and then release, let that go through. Again, cycle two or three times. And now you are ready to go. And again, when not in use, always replace your dust caps. That way ensures that you get good longevity out of your fittings. All right, that's congratulations again on your purchase. I hope this has helped you um, set up your hydraulics properly. That's Peter from McCain's mate.